Hello, this is a very quick and unpolished tutorial to show you how to add keystone effects to ScreenFlow. So here we have a ScreenFlow recording. There are two elements. We've got our screen recording here, and then we've got a video feed, which is here. We can mess around with it if we wish. So what we're going to do is first resize the canvas. So I want to push this out as a 640 by 480 image. I'm going to change the background to white. And there we go. So next thing I'm going to do is resize the screen recording. And here we've got it pretty much where I want it to be and pretty much the right size. I'm going to try the same thing with the video recording. And let's just view things at 100%. Okay, so obviously there's a overlap here. So we can use Keystone to get rid of that. What I will do is, under Video Properties, I'll highlight the screen recording, and then change the Y rotation here to 45 degrees. Press Return. Move this a little bit to the left and make this just a little bit larger. To show off, we can give it a reflection and a shadow effect. And now that video recording isn't quite overlap overlapping the way it was. But we can do the same thing here. We can change the Y rotation value to minus 45 degrees, the reverse of what we had here. Make this a little bit larger. Move it down so it's in the center, move it to the right. So now we have both those elements on the screen. We've made them larger by using the keystone effect to put a sort of perspective a slant on things and to give a nice visual effect. So now if we play this video, it'll look the way we want, uh, it'll look the way we want it to look, and um, we can show off just a little bit more by getting to the start of the recording going in just part of the recording, pressing Command A on the keyboard to highlight both tracks and then to add what's called a video action. So here we've got a transitional point. Before the video action we can go in and we can change the opacity to zero so both of these elements are hidden and now we can slide the video action way over to the left to the start of the recording. So this means when we play the recording, these two elements will now appear on the screen like so. There we go. That was the tutorial to quickly show you how to add keystone effects to a recording. Hope this was of use to you.